What's going on, guys? Before I start this video, I just want to say shout out to Be Aroma Scent. She has 100% organic, natural hair products. It's good to rejuvenate the hairline, to bring the edges back, and to get rid of um, bald spots. So what her products actually do is it stimulates the follicles in your hair, which are mostly mineral deprived anyway, which is calling them not to function no more because of your diet, but we're not gonna unravel you up. So her product really works, guys. Everything's gonna be in my description. She has no nut ingredients, guys. It's 100% organic, no chemicals. Everything is made from her house, guys. So support her business. She already up, but help her get even more up, guys. Appreciate you guys, and thanks for watching the video. And here you go, guys, right out of the backyard builder's phone himself. So here goes some of the products right here, guys. It's 100% organic, no chemicals, no nut ingredients, just in case for all y'all who got allergic to peanuts and stuff like that. And the results and the testimonies from these products are astounding. But here, guys, I'm going to have the link of this website in my description. And I'm just going to show you guys a few of the results real quick. Like Maury says, the results are in. So I want you guys to really take a look at this. <laughs> and my bad, I, I'm sorry, I'm a sound effects guy, I apologize. But look at the before and look at the after and it says six weeks. So now you guys, you look and see yourself whether this product works or not. And this is the results that you get when somebody's compassionate, passionate, and loves what they're doing and uses products that have no chemicals in them at all so yeah guys here's her instagram check her out check her out guys let's get to this video so here's the beginning guys how it looked um before i got my hands dirty uh to be honest with you whenever i start a job i love the anxiety that comes over me I'll be wondering how am I going to do it. So here goes all the material. I just brought it straight from Home Depot. Picked it up, delivered it at the customer's house. I'm a strong man. I'm a strong guy. Can I tell you I'm a strong guy? Drywall, I wasn't. You all know you think crazy. I'm thinking, what if this drywall caved through the floor? But it's not. That's why the floor is supported. That's why I got joists. That's why you got to follow the code. Here's some before and after pictures of that's the master bedroom getting it done. I had to pull up that carpet, start, had to take, sit down, take a break, almost finishing up. Yeah, finished up time for the trim that I'm going to make. And here's the basement, guys, really quickly had to frame everything out. The stairs look like nappy hair, had to take that down. I would have personally left that wood and just sanded it because who, 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 who would want to cover up a wooden step? That's my opinion. 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 So there we go, guys. Guys, um, for the vinyl, I'm just going to put the vinyl over them, get some flush pieces and put them on with some liquid nails. But I just wanted to show you guys exactly what I did. So I got the measurement um, from this back backboard all the way to the very end of this. And then I just had to build it out. And I knew I was gonna use three quarter inch plywood, so I just took away that from an inch and a quarter and I got the three eighths. So these slabs right here are three eighths. Once I put on that plywood over it, it will be flush with that. You see? You can't see actually, because it's so flush and perfect. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just gonna build it out all the way up the step, then I'm gonna cut my vinyl pieces, throw the vinyl on top, add the bull nose, mm, floor is gonna be done. I done put some slats over the cinder block right there. That way I can put some drywall up on them. And luckily they're the same size. I made sure they were the same size, guys. And this is because the floor is not level. So it's nothing not wrong I did on my end. The floor is not level. I made level walls, but the floor is slanting right there. That's why that's that I just wanted to take out the time to show you guys all the framework that I did, the beautiful drop down ceiling that I made. And I just want y'all to appreciate the skill and the common sense and the intellectual side.
that you have to have to accomplish all this and to get no complaints, no callbacks. So thank you. Dealing with this insulation, always wear a long sleeve shirt and a mask because it gets in your skin. The fiberglass will make you start itching. I was in the shower, thought ants was crawling all over me. <sighs> so now for the drywall, I gotta show you guys me getting surgical. I gotta show you Dyson. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Accuracy. Wait till you see how it fit. Surgical. 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 I just want to give you guys a good glimpse at the drop down ceiling that I made for this whole place. Very strong. So we want to get that, we want to get that right there. We just going to measure off of this to that point. That point, give it like a quarter inch of a difference. And then from this right here to this point, this point, give a quarter inch of a difference. And then put it on this board, those points that you got. Put this over, right over those points, just like that. Boop, circle it. So guys, so a lot of people get intimidated when they see these pipes right here, but it's really not that hard. Either you can measure off the side, and then you can either guess like where exactly this goes. So go ahead and take your speed square. So measure from here over, quarter inch of the space, I might say. And then after you go through that, you just make that, that line. We got three and a half inches. So we just marked over three and a half inches because it's going to go up like this. Because we want the uncut side to touch the uncut side. So we're going to make this and touch the factory and factory and touches the factory in. so now you just put it up there like this this is how you double check line it up good and this is also how you can make a line for this get it nice and flush like that like you see you want to grab this right here make it fit you want it to fit on this so keep pressing it and slide up and you see it you show them So that's good. That's good. Say it, say it, say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Yeah. Same thing on the other side. Look at that. Sweet. Sweet turkey. Do you like turkey? <laughs> that's what I love. Here we go, guys. You feel me? All you gotta do is get it as close as possible to a little square. Woo! A little square. And then after that, you could just use plaster to fill in where it gotta go. But there it is, guys. That's all we wanted. Then I'm just gonna put some, put some screws up there. So everything, guys, the drywall always has to bump up against something. Has to bump up against something. So we gonna show them up in there real quick. So as you see, there's nowhere for no drywall to go. So we're gonna make a ledge for it. So it's simple. All you gotta do is go off the other, up there you go good job you gotta go up in front of that drywall and you're getting too excited now that's good yeah that's good job i almost could there we go right there so then you do that wait back a little bit i think my breath making it condensate <laughs> and all you gotta do is you want to level because nobody like odd shapes so you just touch it right there and you bring it down now you got it so right right there I told you my breath. Hold on. No, it's keeping touching. Hey, it was my breath making you condensate. I told you. You think I don't know when my breath is hot? And then that's what you gotta do. You gotta make sure it's perfect. There you go. Right. Right there for it. Yeah. Wait, wait, keep it going. And then, put your nailer in there. Your nailer just lets the wood 
good now, I know. Yeah. Yeah. A friend from Kenya told me one time. I asked him. I said, what's going on? Look at that. You see that? I said, what's going on, man? He said, I ain't hurting. Show me anything. He said, I ain't hurting nobody. <laughs> <laughs> So now it's time for the easiest part of the whole job, which is wiring the breaker box, turning those outlets on. So guys, all we're doing right now is connecting the neutral and the ground wire into that neutral bar and they both go in the same spot. But a lot of people are intimidated when they see this box and wiring this box, but it's nothing to be intimidated about. It's just a box that, you know, if you touch the wrong thing by mistake, you'll die and end your life. That's it. It's not like that matters. We're all depressed. But on the bright side, guys, you just got to remember that you need for 15 amps, 14 gauge wire. Then you just tie it all together and that's it. I just had to cut some of this steel out the way so my drywall could fit on flush. That was just hitting it, stopping it from going down flush. And I know y'all like to see sparks, so I just got nice and close up for y'all. Free game alert, free game alert. Whenever gaps are too big, go ahead and grab that great stuff and fill in all those cracks. All of them. And then when you're done, even big old ones like that. Look what I'm about to do with it. Ah! Even with big ones like that, just fill it up. Fill it up crazy. Fill it up. Just fill it up. That's it. This is free game, guys. I'm telling you. And after you're done, you need your zip. Go ahead and cut it. This is satisfying. Again, we're going to use our best friend. After that, little guy. Ah, 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 take ah. Beautiful. Beautiful. We almost done, guys. We almost done. And then for those around those corners, the same thing. See that? Let me just gonna fill it in with some plaster. Get it looking right. I'm gonna buff those edges off. The sand. Feel me? Make sure you press down on that saw. You want to use the wall as a guide. So go off of the wall. That way you make sure everything's the same um, 
thickness the same, you know. And just make it look nice. Yup, I'm spinning around the pole. This is how you this is how you get it. And then after that you just get your sandpaper and just sand around those edges but everything is filled up. So right now I'm just making the trim from scratch. Um I I offered to do this for her because I wanted to save her some money. She already spent a lot. And they wanted like four thousand dollars for all the trim needed for the whole house. So I was like, I'll make that for you. So the wood for the trim only cost three hundred dollars, so I saved her some money. Oh. All right, guys. So now that I got the floor, the desired color, I'm going to go ahead and apply a clear coat of epoxy over the floor, and then add the sparkles in that she wanted, the design that she wanted. Before I did that, guys, there was some like gaps because the floor wasn't really flat. So I just used some caulk just to fill up the gaps. That way the epoxy don't start to spill out because it's just like a it's a liquid. So it'll go where it want to go, but I don't want it to go there. So now I'm just pushing that epoxy up into the blue tape. This is because I wanna ensure that I have an even transition. You only have to do it this way when you don't pour the epoxy all in one day, all in one pour. I had to come back the next day. So I just wanted a nice even transition. Um, and then after this, I'm just gonna go ahead and roll it. You wanna roll everywhere that you poured, just so the floor is nice and level, nice and smooth. And just take a look, guys, on how cool I look. Just look like, you know, you got to look cool when you do these type of jobs because the clients respect the cool looking man. Well, here's the floor for my viewers. They want to see what it looks like done. Well, guys, here is everything um, completed. I just want to show you guys the full remodel of everything. Um, it's nice. Um, it didn't get painted. She didn't um, know what color she wanted. But this is everything in the basement. She says she's gonna. She wants some custom doors. Vote for that. But again, guys, I'm just, I'm just showing you guys what, what's going on. That's all. And I don't mean to hurt and bother or bother anybody. I don't mean to offend anybody. I'm going to say, uh, showing you guys everything. Drop down ceiling. Uh, dang, I forgot that mail hole. I'm going. Everything's all right. Boom. up and close and personal guys with that you see that's nice that's just waiting for some paint and we're gonna go over here everything boom 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 glitter on the floor huzzah huzzah electricity everything running smoothly we got the entrance to that room right there 
boom. And here it is, guys. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you. Should I show you guys everything that's going up? <laughs> This one. Oh, they moved in quicker than I thought. <laughs> Should I show you guys everything? They definitely moved in fast. Like they said, they painting. That's the only reason why that. Like, yeah. I know y'all know how y'all eyes are for imperfection. Alright guys, I'm 